Welcome back. The true test of leadership is in the time of hardship and adversity. Banu State Governor Professor Babagana Zulum is living true to that. In continuation of his stride to provide leadership for the war-ravaged state, Governor Zulum paid a visit to a community destroyed by terrorists in Ngala local government area. During the visit, the governor approved construction of 500 resettlement houses in the community to accommodate people displaced by terrorists in the state. Biko, this looks like um, a return of hope for the people of Ngala, especially those from Logumani. Now, would they be willing to go back home if eventually this resettlement comes to reality? Yes, it's, um, it's difficult to, to know whether the area is completely safe for people to return to their homestead. We've had situations in which the government rebuilt some communities and Boko Haram came to such communities to kill people. So well, what Governor Zulum usually does is to um, allow those who have the courage, those who are prepared to return home, to return home. So it's not like, um, oh, I'm going to force people to go back home. Back home. The security situation is still precarious in some parts of the state. Yes. There is a lot of improvement in terms of um, what the military has done. But the truth is, these guys still retain the capacity to kill civilians, and they've been killing civilians lately. About 55 uh, scrap metal uh, pickers, people pick scrap metals, have been killed by uh, Boko Haram elements in the very recent past, in the last one or two months. So there is the present danger, the clear and present danger of the possible return of these guys to those communities. And when that happens, it can be really, really brutal. The idea of even destroying communities rebuilt, I, I know some communities in Borno State that have been rebuilt up to three times. Mm. They will come, go back there, destroy uh, those communities. So government has to be sure that the entire area is safe before they allow people to, to reset to otherwise it to people will say oh the governor caused the death of of uh, civilians by relocating them too early but you've got to praise the governor he's anxious to see things return to normalcy in the state and one of the ways to do that is to rebuild those communities provide what the people need, you know, um, so that they can feel comfortable to return to their communities and begin to uh, do their farming, rather than stay in IDP camps and depend on handouts and all that. So I commend the governor for his efforts, but it makes sense to be sure that the area is completely safe before we relocate our people. All right, so let us see now, talking about things going back to normal. Now, 85% of people from this local government are herders, farmers, or fishermen. Now, if the government succeeds in resettling these people, would things ever go back to normal? Well, it, uh, it depends on the security situation. If um, government is able to handle the security threats, naturally, things will go back to normal. I'm sure even the people themselves, have been eager to go back to their places of birth and uh, continue life as normal. Because if you look at it, living in IDPs is not a normal life. Uh, um, they go through a lot of things. And this psychological feeling that you are displaced, you can't even go back to your own place. You don't have a place you can call your own. It's psychologically devastating to start with. So. But like Bikio said, I think uh, getting that security right is the most important thing important. at this time. Of course, I know that the governor has met with uh, security agencies around the place. And, uh, you know, usually that is what he does. 
when he wants to resettle, he will meet with people that are supposed to be in charge of the security and, you know, talk about how they can also boost uh, security in these areas. But you see, in spite of that, for seven years, these people have been under continuous attack. So we can't really say that uh, the talk with security agencies are yielding the maximum results that can guarantee safety and total security of these people. But back to your question, I'm sure that if those things are taken care of, the people themselves will be more than willing to, uh, to go back to a normal life and to go back to their businesses. Uh, BKO, Bono State has had its large share of um, terrorist attacks in past years. Any hope for these people that one day all of this will go away? Yeah, we can only be hopeful that um, terror will eventually be defeated in that part of the country. And the military has been provided with game-changing weapons. I saw those weapons myself. I even rode in some of the tanks, including our, our famous uh, T-72 main battle tank. So with some of the main battle tanks refurbished and ready to go, with new capabilities on the part of the military in terms of the new uh, equipment that the president bought for them, with unmanned area vehicles doing a lot of work in that area, the capacity of Boko Haram to cause problem has been reduced drastically, but it doesn't mean that they cannot occasionally kill farmers in remote areas. They still retain that capacity to kill people, to slaughter people, you know, uh, from time to time. But there are good signs that progress is being made and that someday peace will fully return to the uh, to Bono State. I was speaking with the governor in, in December and he told me, look, we made impressive yields in, in terms of agriculture um, the year before. So, which means that they are reaping already from improvement in security because Okay. If people can now go, if some people can now go to their farms and they made good harvest, it means that there is improvement. So more and more of these people would like to, they are basically farmers, they would like to return to their homestead, they would like to return to farming. They, because staying in the IDP camp and relying on hand that diminishes mm. any man. So Absolutely. they want to they want to be able to farm and make their own money and, and provide for their families instead of a whole family of 10 staying in IDP camp. Some of them, were, some of the children were born there, mm -hmm. grew up there. And there's a lot of prostitution, a lot of uh, drug use, illicit drug use. So I long for that day when Bono State will be completely safe and all the people in the IDP camps can then fully return to their homes. But I know that even that will take some time. Hopefully we get there.